If we're not going to sign a first baseman, give him the job. And hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Adam Battle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playalog. And today, we're going to be talking about one of the players that I've always looked at as being kind of a meme around the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, yeah. I have a, <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this guy. His name is <laughs> Rowdy. Telez, it's Rowdy Telez, and you know, I, I one thing I was gonna say, Rowdy Telez, because that's how they pronounce his name in like MLB, MLB the show yeah. and video Tellez. games and stuff. <laughs> Rowdy, tell us us if that's how you pronounce your real name, yeah. Telez. Um, so please let us know, let man. Us know. Um, yeah, we're gonna be breaking down Rowdy Telez and uh, just kind of seeing, you know, what his first few seasons were like. What do, what do we think he's gonna be like? Basically letting you know whether we think we like this guy or not. Uh, uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays, that's kind of what this whole breakdown series is. Uh -huh. um, so, Rowdy Telez, a 25-year-old, and he's played three seasons in the MLB. Um, for his first couple seasons, you know, th there were some hopeful spots. Like, when he came up, he hit, like, a crap load of doubles his first season, like, in September. Like, it was like, what the hell? Like, this mm -hmm. guy's raking. And then in 2019, he stepped back a little bit. But in 2020, he made a little bit of a step forward. Let's talk about that. 2019, Nick. Like, what what happened with Rowdy Telez? Bro, Tellez? Rowdy Telez is like, I don't even know. Um, it, like, he just like sways back and forth, bro. Like, like he reminds me of like one of those, you know, like you're at Canada's Wonderland and those those rides. You get in the big pirate ship and it sways up here, <laughs> you know. And now we're hitting like you know 280, 290, and then we go the other way and we're hitting like 220. I don't know what this guy is. I don't know what this guy is because. You said three seasons, but they haven't been full seasons. No, they have The never most been. that he's done is 370 at bats. In fact, over his entire career, he's only had 553 at bats, which realistically is about one season. Yeah. And well, here's the thing, too. It's like, you know, you're talking about he sways back and forth, and there, there seems to be some explanation from StatCast why he's been doing that. Um, in, in 2019, his expected batting average is like 251. And before I even get into this, his minor league numbers were unreal. They were off the charts. Like, he is, this guy slucked, right? Uh, and his expected batting average in 2019 was 251. But he only hit 227. And that was in 370 at bats. So it's like clearly he got the, you know, unlucky in a lot of situations. Could have hit 251, but didn't. However, in 2020, a lot smaller sample size at 113 at bats. But his expected batting average jumped up to 286. So. And he hit 283, so obviously he got he got exactly what he deserved, uh -huh. and he made an improvement in his game, and so that's why that huge jump from 227 to 283 makes a little bit sense. He he grew like 30 expected batting average points. I mean, you know, and and that's like hopefully I I, I want to say yeah, like he did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like statistically he did. It, yeah. it always comes down to the 113 at bats, exactly. you know, like because what is that like? 20 games like like 20? 30 ish or so. he, yeah, he got I know he got hurt sure. and like like he only played like half of the season with yeah. us or something yeah. so and he was really good last year he, oh, he was, was really good he had a 283 batting average a 346 on base percentage and a 540 slugging that's nice that's good stuff you know like if you want to do that all the time rowdy like yeah. come and enjoy our our four or five spot like that's good for him that's yeah. good for me and and, um, if, and if Vladdy moves over to third base like he's trying to and Rowdy becomes the everyday first baseman. You know what? I would love to see this guy take a shot as an everyday role in 2021, just to see what he can produce. It's yeah. I mean it, and that's why I say like Rowdy Telez right now. I I still don't know what to expect. I do not know what to expect. You know, he hit 283 last year, but his career batting average is 250. That's a league average, you know? And then his on-base percentage is below league average at 309, but his slugging is above league average at 488. Like, I'm, Slugging's good. Yeah, and, and, and realistically, like, that is what he's been most of his career. Like, a pretty poor contact guy with lots of power. Mm -hmm. Pretty poor contact, lots of power. Swinging out of his ass. And he does like to swing out of yeah. his ass, actually. Um, you know, he was striking out a redonkulous amount of the time in his first two years yeah. at like on average 28.6% of the time 
last year that dropped down to 15.7 yeah are, like are we gonna uh, stay there well, I don't know. Well, that, that's the thing with all the Toronto Blue Jays hitters. Like, you look at Teoscar Hernandez, for example, where he was the guy who swung out of his ass, mm-hmm. but he made an adjustment. And, like, Rowdy made an adjustment. Even though he only played 30 games, he did make a bit of an adjustment. Mm-hmm. Where, you know, not as drastic as, to, as um, T. Oscar, but he still made an adjustment. And he's getting more comfortable in the league. And, like... I hope that kind of filters into like Bo Bichette when he comes into his third year. He starts to make an adjustment. Vladdy starts making an adjustment. Kevin, no adjustment needed except for maybe swinging and making more contact. But that's yeah, just skill. Yeah. <laughs> the, he's he's pretty good at his plate approach. But um, well, but point being is like that these guys are slowly starting to get an adjustment. And that's why I want to see him in a full time role next year. If we're not going to sign a first baseman, give him the job. Because uh, there was times last year where I'm like. We need to play Rowdy, but we just can't fit him in. We can't fit him in because mm-hmm. we had Vladdy over at first. I mean, I think he did enough last year to warrant a shot. Yeah. You know, I and I don't I don't trust him yet. I don't trust that he's gonna reproduce what he did last year again. But he's worth a shot. Yeah. He's worth a, a dart throw and to say, hey, listen, like you did make some adjustments. Can you do it again? For an entire season. Yeah. Can yeah. you do it again for an entire season? Because we've never seen that from him, ever. <laughs> Speaking of entire season, one this is the ridiculous stat I was telling you about. So I wanted what? to, I always like to see like, what, what would they get if they played a full 162 games? Um, this, this number isn't as crazy. He would hit 37 home runs on that pace last year, yeah. which is, I can totally see that happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one's a little bit ridiculous. 141 RBIs. Not happening. <laughs> That's kind of not sustainable. But still, even if he doesn't hit that ceiling, he gets like 90, 100. That's great. Mm-hmm. And then uh, 92 runs scored, which that might fall low, though, because he's going to be batting in that 5 6 spot. Well, you know, it's interesting that you brought that up because, like, looking at his career, He's had 553 at bats. That yeah. is pretty much a season's worth of at bats. Right. In that time, he's gotten 79 runs scored, 33 home runs, and 91 RBIs. He's hit there for 250, go. had an on base percentage of 309, and a slugging of 488. This is three seasons worth. This is drawn mm-hmm. out, you know, so we can't look at this and extrapolate it and go, this is exactly what's going to yeah. happen because there's so much shit that has changed in that amount yeah. of time. You know, like it was a completely different team in 2018 when some of this stuff was happening and, to where it is now. And he could have still had some bad habits that he's like shaving off. Yeah. So he has a whole new season with some new habits. Like it could be a different rowdy. Uh-huh. We don't really know. But, I mean, if he did want to do this, like, if he did want to give me 33 home runs and 91 RBIs and 79 runs and, you know, hit 250, like, that's not great. That's literally league average, but still, 33 yeah. home runs, like, then you can live, like, down there in five or six hole oh, land. Oh, hell you know? yeah. Like, you can go and live over there hell if, if yeah. you want to do this for a whole season. Yeah, Hell yeah, that's like Justin Smoke area when he was having his all-star season. Exactly, exactly. Like, like this is, you know, when you look at these numbers, I go, okay, so this is a power guy who can give me home runs. Um, we're not going to get crazy contact or on-base percentage out of him, but he will slug. He will exactly. occasionally slug. Yeah. And and that's good enough for me, you yeah. know? And and here's here's a great thing. And, you know, obviously we know our, our teams are young, but I was, I was looking at his contract too, and like like everyone else, he still got one more year, uh, five hundred seventy-five thousand, and then he gets into his arbitration in twenty twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Um, and he has everyone has three years of arbitration. All the young guys. Yeah. Um, so what's great about this team is when I really think about it, like you know, obviously I want to get all these big deal guys, but in twenty twenty-one, even if we didn't get a big deal guy and we're just like super cheap and we have all these guys, and if they we give them a chance to play and they blow up. Then, like, there's our big deal guy right mm-hmm. there. Agreed, There's dude. our big deal guy. For Rowdy, so for me, Rowdy, moving forward, what he needs to work on is maintaining this level of strikeout percentage. We yes. can't be jumping back up to the high 20%. That is not acceptable. You cannot be striking out almost 30% of the time. Yeah, no. You know, if we're back down here in the 16% land, then I'm happy about that. He also needs to, similarly to somebody like a Bo Bichette, stop chasing so many fucking pitches because he does chase 
much higher percentage of pitches than yeah. MLB average. The difference between him and Boba Shett, though, is Boba Shett is naturally talented and will lead <laughs> us to many World Series. <laughs> Rowdy does not have that level of natural talent, and so oftentimes he misses and is below league average in chase contact. So we're ahead in chasing percentage, but we're below league average in chase contact. If you're going to chase, you better make contact. So decide if we don't if we don't want to chase. I'm good with that, bro. But if you do want to chase, hit the ball. Yeah, like you better be Vlad Senior. Yeah, because yeah. Vlad Senior is the best. Because at that. this is why you strike out yeah. when you chase and you miss, yeah. and then you strike out. Like, how about just don't chase? Just don't chase. And don't. that is good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, like that is e- good enough for me. Even bro. with Bo, like he chases and hits it, but like. A lot of them are fouls and fouls and like, you know, and then you swing to mid. That's when he strikes out too. And it's like, let's just not chase. How about that? <laughs> that would be, that yeah. would be great for me, bro. Yeah. That yeah. would be great for me. Unless this it's is, two strikes, of course. This and is what he has to work on moving forward. And if we want to see a 283 average, because he was having, he was doing better at this stuff last year. If we want to see this again, this is going to be, this is going to be it for Rowdy. No more yes. chasing, bro. No, no more, more chasing. chasing. Hit 37 home runs for us, uh, Rowdy, please. That would be great. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in 2021. Should be in that starting first base role if Vladdy moves over to third. Exactly. I would expect it. Yeah, so. guys, let us know what you think about Rowdy Tellez down below. Tell us where you want to see him bat in the order because that is another question. I'm not really sure. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to see how the season starts. Exactly. Is he good enough to be our starting first baseman let us know down below guys and also make sure to follow us on our spotify google Podcasts, anchor radio public and breaker and make sure to also follow us on our instagram as we're nearing 5,000 followers we are yeah 5,000 followers by 2021 yes. that's the goal and that's it will happen that's the goal thanks a lot for watching guys and go jays go